What's going on, peoples? Um, this is just a quick update of my Samsung Galaxy S4 running the Wicked ROM version 3. My previous one was version 2. Um, this one does a seem, seems to be a lot faster. Maybe they tweaked or optimized the ROM to um, run a lot smoother and faster. Um, I also updated my kernel, which is the KTunes kernel. I'm not sure which version it is, but now you can overclock the GPU to 600 megahertz and that seems to make a world of a difference as far as benchmarking goes um, they, they also include um, I think it's called K-Tuner if I can find it uh, where are you okay it's called KT KT well K tweaker so here you know this allows you to um, overclock all the way to uh, 3.22 but I wouldn't suggest that I normally leave it at 20 like either 21 2106 or 2050 uh, 2052 that seems to be pretty stable um, I did run uh, the 3D Mark benchmark, and I got a really, really high score this time. And I think I'm guessing it's because of the, um, the overclocking the GPU, which is right there. That was my highest score. Now I did run it again, and I got lower scores. I'm not sure why, because maybe some things were running in the background. But that was my high score right there as you can see that's like actually higher than most of the devices that's on here so as you can see my my score is actually well not the highest but it should be the second highest that's higher than the score I got before and I'm guessing that's because of the GPU being overclocked or oh, I meant to show you that the GPU can be overclocked to 600 megahertz. So on K20, you just press back, you go down to extra, scroll all the way down, and um, you go to uh, GPU. See, I had it set at 320 because I wasn't playing any games or none, but you could set it at 600. I just leave the governor to on demand. And. Um, Let's try and see what 3D Mark says this time. So I'm going to go ahead and run it, but I'm going to take it off the screen because I don't want their watermarks all over my video because then YouTube goes ape shit. So I'll just load it up and then when it runs, I'll uh, bring the screen back. As you can see, it's loading right there anyway. So. Now, I'm not sure like I think that this this benchmark is pretty buggy because sometimes I get high scores sometimes I don't and I make sure I clear the RAM before I run it and it just gets real buggy at times uh, I think I should have turned the brightness up some see like right now I'm getting like a really like low frame rate. I don't understand why. But anyway, I'm not gonna run the whole benchmark because um, I mean, there's really no need to. I already showed you the score that I got previously, and like right now I'm getting a really really low score. I know I'm gonna get a low score because the frame rates have haven't even went over 60 yet. I'm not sure why it does that. anyway just wanted to update um, I'm gonna post a link in the description of 
basically the ROM and the kernel. So if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Also, big shouts out to the guy whoever created this. I don't know his name. I don't know his name that created the kernel. But big shouts out to him and big, big shouts out to the guy who created the ROM. So I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out. You know, it's pretty, it's my daily driver. You know, I do everything with this ROM because everything seems to work. And, um, don't, I didn't have any issues with it as of yet. So, um, if there's anything you guys want to know or see, just let me know. Leave a message or a comment and, um, I'll try to see what I can do. So, thanks for watching and, uh, good day, you guys.